Recession is coming! Did I scare you? I, I might have scared you. But recession's already here. Maybe it's coming. Listen, if you're worried like me about the current state of the economy and what's going on, look, the stock market is tanking. We know that, right? Jobs are becoming more and more scarce. And it seems like every day the news reports, it's like some new disaster, some new terrible thing happens somewhere. Look, in these uncertain times, it's more important than ever to have a solid investment strategy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three, three strategies. strategies. Uno, dos, tres. I'm bilingual. Three strategies that you must do now if you wanna make sure your money is safe during any economic downturn. Let's go. Now I'm not trying to scare anyone or anything like that. We've seen recessions and recessions like this and even worse in the past and the market has produced incredible, massive opportunities in spite of challenges. In fact, I just want you to pause for a moment and I want you to shift your mindset real quick. When you hear the word recession, I want you to swap it out in your brain for opportunity, okay? Every time somebody says, we're in a recession, there's a recession. I want you to think, we're in an opportunity, there's an opportunity. Because you know what? I personally am an Eagle Scout, and one of the models of a Boy Scout is to always be prepared. And I want you to be prepared to not only shift from a recession to an opportunity, but know how to have the right toolkit in a recession slash opportunity to recession-proof your investments. This is not only gonna help you protect your assets in a recession slash opportunity, it's gonna help you find diamonds in the rough. Opportunities to replace your income and secure your future. By the way, when I said diamonds in the rough, did anybody else think of Aladdin? Just me? The diamond in the rough. Awesome. Okay, so let's get started. Here we go with strategy number one. Strategy number one is buy a single family home. Look, I know what you're thinking. Wow, that sounds boring. You're right, because boring is awesome. And boring makes money. Boring really does. Yeah, you know the story of the tortoise and the hare, right? The hare looked all cool and flashy, probably has some Nikes on, and he gets out there and he's trucking, but who wins the race? The tortoise does. Single family homes are like the tortoise, right? They may seem slow, they may even seem boring, but man, if they don't just flat out perform year in and year out. So a lot of us, when we have an opportunity like a recession, we wanna know, well, what's the best thing to do? Should I get into multifamily real estate? Should I do commercial real estate? Where should I buy? What should I do? Listen, keep it simple, okay? Keep it really simple, buy a single family home. Now, why? I'm a big fan of, of you know, look, I when I, I went to Brigham Young University, that was where I went to, to college and I took a class, it was Econ 110. And it, I barely remember anything from college. I still don't know if that I've ever used my college degree. <laughs> Hi mom, thanks for paying. Um, but I will tell you this, uh, one of the things I learned was this idea of a supply and demand curve. Now, when you think of a supply and demand curve, the idea is you wanna own supply where demand is high. So where is demand the highest when it comes to real estate? Demand is really high where? It's in single family homes. If you think about it, it's where uh, up and coming families wanna buy their first home. It's where families that have already bought their first home may be looking to upgrade their second home. It's where a lot of investors are attracted because of the conservative nature of single family residences. If you look at the VAT, we live in a country where the majority of us are middle class, right? So it's where middle class, middle income people wanna live, wanna own, wanna rent. So single family residential real estate is the most in demand real estate on the planet. So the first thing you could do is focus your attention on buying single family homes, okay? Now, here is tip number two or strategy number two. When you are buying a single family home, you wanna be buying at or below the median. Now here's in general what it means, okay? And we're talking about like a national median. Um, if you look at what prices are across the country, uh, this is October, 2022. I think the last time I looked at it, they were nearing 400,000 or they're like 370,000, 350, I don't know, between 350 and 400, okay? So you could buy real estate at that level or you could buy it above that level if you're in some of these you know, coastal markets where we love to go and find real estate at this time right now is somewhere between like 250 and $300,000. Why? Because that is still affordable. That's where families wanna be, that's where families wanna live, that's where families wanna buy, that's where families wanna rent. 
So if you go and buy a single family property, make sure it's around the median or even below the national median, because what you'll find is not only are you saving pennies, are you putting more dollars in your pocket to maybe invest in other real estate? Not only do you have more money to maybe go and buy two or three properties, if that's the situation you're in, as opposed to just buying one, but you're also in the highest demand areas in the highest demand of real estate, which means you are owning the supply where demand is high, which puts you on the right side of the supply and demand curve, which it can be extremely effective during a recession slash opportunity. Are you with me now? Before I give you the third strategy, before we get back to this video, I just want to say thank you for watching. We're so thrilled to have you. We love doing this show. We love being here on the channel with you. And this channel, it's all about you. It's about showing you the tips and the tricks for getting started in real estate. We want to help you shift your mindset and think different about real estate. There's a lot of stuff that's been taught for a lot of years about real estate, and I'm not going to discount it and say that it's wrong. But what I will say is over the last decade and a half, We've been utilizing strategies and a principle-based approach to real estate that just flat out works. And so we share videos that cover those principles, that talk about how to replace your income one property at a time, that show you how to stack micro wins to generate millions so you can create generational wealth for you and your loved ones. So if you wanna find out how to find the best type of real estate, how to take advantage of the best kind of real estate, this channel is for you. If you're wondering what strategies you should employ and which markets you should be in, how to get the biggest financial return on your investment, especially in a recession slash opportunity, this channel is for you. If you wanna set up your family forever, this channel is for you. So please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that we can notify you when we have a new video and, and share this with somebody who you love or share it with an enemy who, who you think won't pay any attention to it because you're a big fan of it. Then you could go buy real estate with these strategy and make them look dumb. <laughs> um, all right, now let's get back to the video. Let's get to our third strategy. Ready for it? Strategy number three, buy real estate with middle income, middle class in mind, because middle income, middle class neighborhoods attracts the right type of tenants with the right market conditions. So when it comes to buying real estate, it's a question of where do you want to buy, right? We've already talked a little bit about this, but what's important is if you buy in a market where the economy is good, where the job market is good, where there is some increase, maybe the job market is even better than the national average. If you buy in neighborhoods where families want to live, if if you buy in neighborhoods where maybe there's a really healthy mix of owners and renters, maybe you buy in a neighborhood where the majority of people there own and there's a handful of renters. Now imagine what it would be like if you owned a home that was perfectly in the middle class, middle income area in the nice part of uh, any given city where the schools are awesome, where families want to live, where middle income, middle class folks want to be and they could rent from you. Is that the kind of tenant that could be really effective in helping to generate income and cash flow for you year over year. Because look, if you're getting tired of poor returns on investments or even poor returns in other real estate, this type of real estate can make a big difference for you. Okay. With real estate, you can achieve massive returns. And so what we want you to do is we want you to click subscribe. We want you to click the link below because we want to be able to talk with you. If you click the link below, we'll be able to connect with you. You can book a call and we can help you understand how to go and find the right properties in the right market with the right set of conditions so that you can take advantage of this recession slash opportunity, right? We've had clients who have achieved massive returns and we want you to do the same thing. We are firm believers in stacking up micro wins in order to create massive returns. We call it micro wins to millions and we want you to participate in it. So if you don't want to deal with tenants and toilets and, and you know, rehabbing and all the stuff, but you want to take advantage of this opportunity slash recession that you're in the middle of without having to be a landlord and take all the time and take all the headache and fix all the toilets and take all the calls, give us a call. Click the link below. Let's get on a session together. Let's chat and see how we can serve you so you can begin to change your life financially one property at a time over time. So for now, we'll sign off and we'll see you real soon.